Hello YouTube! I am Penstar and this is Game Dev Tycoon Strategy and Tactics Episode 21. So in our last episode we uh, went ahead and got ourselves our MMO. Lush, the Dreamscape Struggle, um, just still fresh on the market. Um, now, it may, may not seem like we're not moving that many units of it, but MMOs work differently because they give you co-current revenue or continuous revenue. Uh, they, you don't get nearly as many bursts of uh, unit sales, but the people that say stay subscribed are, um, are the ones that just constantly give you income. So it grows over time. Uh, 9.75 with uh, perfectly aligned sales figures, I think we're fine. Now, we just did a round of training for everybody, and we've got our own convention coming up, so we need to get a game on the docket. Um, we're not quite ready to do a sequel, uh, or rather, we're not quite ready to do a... Uh, um, an expansion pack. First off, we got to research that, and second off, we... Um, yeah, we're, we, we don't want to... We want to do expansions every other... Thing. That's part of the uh, deal with uh, MMOs, uh, at least with large size MMOs, um, doing expansion packs every other game is a good idea. That way it keeps interest in the MMO going, the MMO gets more and more fans and thus more and more money, um, but you still get to do other games besides the MMO. Right then, now for our next game, uh, since we're kind of wandering into sequel land here, eh, one good sequel deserves another. Obviously not to the same game, though. I'd like to think that, um, you know, when, when reviewing the tapes, reviewing the games that they that, that people would like to try try their hands at again, um, we, 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 should, we need a sequel to do a game proper. And I think children's ward was kind of the big disappointment we we this was our first venture onto the nexus and it didn't do that well but i think we've got a good concept here so we're going to redo it uh, or rather make a sequel to it um now let's see here um i think part of our thing is making that a simulation uh, we can throw strategy onto the mix here uh, simulation strategy here as long as simulation is the primary it'll it, it'll be a mostly good combo e for everyone hospital um, let's pick our platforms of course plush nexus yeah our our um our market share is just kind of down there um, in fact, you know what? I think I might do it for the PC first and then, technically speaking, port it to the Nexus and then to the uh, GR pad. Um, just because of the sales. Although, no, the plush Nexus is the, um, is the, is the better one. Um, uh, as far as fitting all the metrics here. So plush Nexus, then PC then GR pad. We'll stick with the program. There we go. And we should be good because this is a new game in engine compared to our old one. Um, and this one is going to be... Yeep! And I don't have my right thing copied. Hang on! Okay, so this is going to be uh, Plush Children's Ward 2. Um, I, 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 I'd put an extra moniker on there, but then we'd have a little case of colon cancer. Um, but this is, this is going to be, this isn't just a remake or a rehash of the same thing. The kid's not about to get hit by another car. Um, so the idea here is you're actually starting with your kid, their post pubescent there. This is a post, um, uh, mid school crisis kid they they're they're too old they can't talk to their plushes anymore 
Um, but they're they're still doing fine. They finish up their year at school, um, and the you know your parents are talking about going on some road trip, but your kid's not feeling so good. So they go and get get a checkup, and they're like, ah. This is appendicitis. We got to remove your appendix. Uh, now, it's not an emergency. They, they reassure the, the kid um, that, hey, this is totally routine. You're, you're, you're not about to die. This is, this is fine. We got you covered. But your kid finds themselves once again in the children's ward of the, uh, of the nearby hospital as they, prep them to, as they get prepped for surgery. Um, and the kid sees once again Horse MD there. Um, and a little nervous, the kid asks if they could just hold on to horse. He, they can't talk to him. Um, and they said, of course. Um, and they mentioned, are oh, the budget cuts are still pretty bad. And they're like, yeah, the horse is all we got. We we're actually about to throw him out. If you want to take him home with you, because he's kind of ratty and we, we don't have the budget to replace him. Um, so your kid is just pondering that they get the drugs to be put under. And as they're kind of getting a little woozy, um, for a brief moment, a uh, horse looks to them and it says, it'll be all right. Um, of course, they wake up after the surgery. They're fine. Um, and they take a horse MD back home. Um, your parents lament that the cost of that surgery um, means they can't do their road trip. So the summer's kind of kind of uh, free for you. Uh, when your kid gets an idea, you know what? What if I started a nonprofit? What if I started a business to get plushes into kids' wards? And thus begins the game. It is a business simulation where you, as your kid, run a nonprofit organization trying to get uh, raise money and donations um, to get plushes to various hospitals across the country, starting with your local hospital and then expanding from there, and even branching out in things like, like dog shelters and whatnot. Um, just, just trying to do some good in the world, and it takes place over the course of the summer, and you see how big of a nonprofit organization you can grow. So that's Children's Ward too, uh, and, and an interesting take in that you know, besides that one line, the plushes don't really talk, except in the epilogue where you get to see them talking with all the kids that they get donated to. There's also an important choice that you need to make of whether or not you donate your own personal uh, plushes to your cause, or if you hold on to them, even though you can't talk to them anymore. Um, all right, so PlushCon, you know, we got this out just in time. 1.5 million people, the PlushCon. Um, I, since we did a round of training, and uh, I'm not actually gonna turn on any uh, anything else here as far as that goes. As far as uh, hospital simulation strategy, I think we can keep most of our stuff the same. It's fairly similar. Well, looks like the plush Nexus is getting a big burst of uh, sales here, thanks to the convention. Ooh! Well, you know what? I have to say, adventure games trend constantly. This is like the seventh time they've been trendy. Uh, and I'm really happy for that because we don't make them and thus we don't have to... I mean, imagine if we were a, a design-focused company and we were making adventure games all the time. We'd be jerked around by that freaking trend like crazy. Okay, um... Yeah, level design, artificial intelligence. Maybe not quite so much with the artificial intelligence. Well, actually, no, it, it, it wouldn't hurt from that. Level design is fine and dialogues. The only real flip-flop is um, world building. But I think with the strategy mixed in, it's, it's world building can be... Oh, it, it's, it, it's sort of a free-for-all. Like, and your world building can be whatever you want it to be. Vacations. Uh, freaking vacations. All right, we're gonna. We're. Um, you know what? I think. I think I'm gonna do the switcheroo here. Uh, we're gonna turn world design way down. Uh, we can turn off um, day night cycle. We don't need that. Um, graphics can be turned up. 
Uh, Colton Payne goes on there. Um, Alan Lowe goes higher. Just trying to get everyone shuffled around and then we'll deal with uh, percentages here. Down a smidge, that's good enough. Um, open world doesn't need to be open world. Uh, virtual economy work, rich backstory works fine for a business game. Sound is fine. All right, I think we're good. Get your butts on vacation. This may not be the best game. This might, this might be another lackadaisical follow-up here because of everyone having to come back from vacations here. We're absolutely going to need to make sure. In fact, I think we're going to hit the marketing a little bit harder because we're going to need extra marketing. We're going to need the hype to make sure this sells well. I'm glad they let him make it up a little bit. Let's get a round of magazines there at the end. Yeah, I'm not too sure what this is going to do. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, this is a proper sequel, so we're going to get that 20% uh, bonus at the end of it, on the top side of it. You can see our MMO starting to lose a little interest here. Oops. Uh, that's why you got to keep feeding it. Ah, someone snuck in a bug. Yeah, this might not go so well because of those damn vacations. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, first off, let's research... Um, where Where is this? Expansion packs. We need to research expansion packs. Um, we also need to train everybody else. You know what? You need to get trained up in gameplay. We need another specialist here. Um, you game design course. Man, this series is just doomed to be lack lacking. I don't know, maybe it's a it's not as well actually this is better than we thought it would be. Oh. A wow, this is a divisive game. A straight eight? I mean I'll take a straight eight. A straight eight is much much bigger improvement anyway um, all right uh, you yeah we're gonna be going against grain here wow that was a real short trend All right, expansion pack. That's good. That's good. All right, we gotta we gotta feed the MMO here. Um, and now that everyone's fresh from uh, vacations, we should be doing just fine with that. All right, yeah, these two are about done. Expansion pack plus the dreamscape struggle. So this is how you keep your MMOs alive, because otherwise. The, the green, which is the profitable base, and the red, which is the operating cost, will soon meet, and we will soon start losing money on this. But every time you release an expansion pack, that resets the equation and adds even more users to it. Um, so yeah, we go right back to where we were with everything else here. Um, so this is going to be lush. Dreamscape struggle. I'm abbreviating it. And yes, we will succumb to colon cancer here. Um, mythology and madness. So this expands on the formula of the uh, of the others, but now we're going to be adding some new units to both sides. On the plush side, the uh, remember the, those mythological creatures that we had in um, um, summer school? 
Um, well, they're back. They're, they are now in the game and they are now hero units. Um, so if you really want to play a singular hero unit, uh, uh, but also want to play on the plush side, now you can. Uh, so these these mythological creatures are are now working with the plushes. They are bigger, powerful, but you only get one of them. But they also have a whole host of powers. And unlike the nightmares, they do some of them do have support abilities that can buff and heal and and generally help you cooperate with others um, quite nicely. The um, on the flip side, the nightmares, if they want to go more the RTS route, get. Um, um, uh, get hordes. They are basically, they start out as, as um, you know, like hordes of plague rats or horde, uh, murder of crows. And these are, aren't just regular crows. These are like demons crows. Um, you know, these, these little swarms of small creatures that they command, you know, individually. Individually, they are weak, but as they get kills, instead of leveling up like, uh, um, like the, the regular nightmares, they grow in numbers. So a very successful horde player can, um, start fielding a larger and larger swarm, uh, that can just choke out the whole battlefield. So it kind of flips the dichotomy without completely breaking the the uh, idea uh, between the two factions and adds a whole host of new muni units that you can mix and match with. Also adds new battlefields and, and whatnot to the overall world and makes the economy a bit more dynamic. So that's mythology and Matt. Oops. In Star Plush Engine, please. Uh, we need to finish up our convention sooner rather than later. I don't want to have to do G3 here. Um, and yeah, we'll do that. We'll flip... Um, okay, hurry it up, guys. Come on, get our convention ready. I don't want G3 to pop. Thank you. And we'll do another own convention after this. Got that just in time. All right, we did uh, we did crack the five million mark, but I don't think we're going to go too much past that. Um, yeah. Are we going to turn anything on for this? We might want to. Self-learning AI might be one. That's a, although that's a big feature. Um, dynamic environment. Can we fit that? We cannot. Um, yeah, it's a little better. Yeah, dynamic environment. There we go. We fit the uh, self-learning. We can almost fit it, but that's that's going way too high there. I think we'll just stick with the dynamic environment here. I don't want to go rocketing past our uh, goal here. And yeah, you can see we're starting to lose some money on some of these until we release this. Then our thing will go back to. Uh... Of course, of course, we're gonna hype this thing. It's going to be a smash. Ooh, are we going to fire? Yes. We hire, we fire this right in phase two. That's going to make our hype explode. That's the sweet spot of game development for you right there. All right, 1.6 million. There, look at that. Look what happened to the hype. Not only did it burst up in numbers, but its growth is humongous. Um, and yeah, I guess we could stick like this. Although with strategy in action, we can, we can revert things the way I, I, Pinstar, I'm, I'm invoking executive privilege here. We need, we need less in the way of graphics. We've got this down to what, like 50 something percent? There we go. 
Um, and yeah, let's tick back on um, Dynamic World. We could fit, well, again, I don't want to go rocketing past here. Let's do Open World Day-Night Cycle real quick, and then we'll, we'll think about Dynamic World afterwards. Maybe go for realistic weather. There we go. Although, eh, again, I don't want to go rocketing past. We already did rounds of training here. Yeah, let's 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 save the big turn-ons for the next uh, next uh, game here. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing any more advertising because we got plenty here. This we're gonna hit the 500 here. All right, you guys are done. So you know what? Budget is zero. We knocked out our our two conventions. We're we're good. Guys, take a rest for a while. 621. <laughs> Finish it up! Finish it up! Finish it up! I don't care if there's 174 bugs! Finish it up! Oh, ro lay rogue strategy trend for our strategy action game. And yes, that does hit you full blast. Here comes the tens! Ah, uh, here comes the ten! Yep. God damn trends. <laughs> oh, a nine. Okay, we 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 protected ourselves with those bugs because we had enough people in their things. We could have hit a perfect ten, but we didn't, um, which means we didn't go rocketing past it. So, yeah, glad I glad I I did that. All right, let's get some game reports here. One other thing is, I've never actually gotten official recognition if the uh, action half of this works. So let's get uh, let's get some game reports on. All right, yeah. Now look at now look at this. No longer is this waffling around. Um, let's. Um, Anything else for me to research? Well, there's that zombie topic that I, I've, I've been pondering. Not entirely sure I want to uh, um, to do zombies, but we could. It's a strategy genre. I, I did have I did have one of my commenters re specially requesting a plush zombies game. Uh, if there was a trend. Now, granted, that trend might be over by the time we finish the game. So I can't count on that. If it were a strange trends topic... Well, you know what? Here, I'm going to research this. Um, what are, What's the next new topic? Rhythm. Rhythm. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Why don't you just, um, I could make you a specialist too, if I wanted to. Uh, why don't I just give you a, R no, I don't even need an R&D course. Let's get you a product management course. We should be coming up on people's vacations soon. That's the other reason why I didn't want to, to rely on that, because we're not going to be um, double backing on our, our um, game production here. Uh, fantasy and strategy action is a great combination. Ba ba ba. I already knew that. Um, simulation strategy is a good combination. World design. All right, so you're not going to tell me that. Fair enough. All right, vacations times. Let's send you on that, and in our next episode, we will ponder our next uh, our next move here. 
Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!